Yo yo, this is Dover Black Hat Gaming. I do RPG games like Elder Scrolls and Fallout and many more. Subscribe to see more and enjoy the video. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Doctor! Dr. Chakwas! I think he's waking up! You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? 
How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. What's the damage, Doctor? Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the Commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness. I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we gonna tell him? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. 
He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Hey, Commander. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot from you. I've never met anyone who was awarded the Star of Terra. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't have shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Citadel fleet. Wow, well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue Spectre. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. 
Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. I want to know more about Citadel security. Citadel security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy, roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment it often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. The Council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. Do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. How come the Volus were the first species given an embassy? In the early years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Salarians, the most populous and widespread species in Citadel space. They established many new colonies and trading outposts, and they petitioned the Council for a greater role in determining interstellar policy. In recognition of their work to expand interstellar trade and establish a standardized galactic economy, the Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. Do you know anything about Spectres? The term Spectre is derived from the branch of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. Each Spectre agent is hand-picked by the Council. Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channels. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or authority except the Council itself. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? 
Originally, the council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians, the two dominant species in Citadel space. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community while preserving individual autonomy for each species. It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the Council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Who were you just talking to? That was Executor Palin. Head of Citadel Security, my boss. He'll be presenting my findings on Saren to the Council. Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a Spectre. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre, and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the Beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that! That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard?
You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the Financial District. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Balavan's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Sometimes a thousand people must die so a million can live. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the Council. He's just frustrated. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The Ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Who cares if we get a seat on the Council? What's the big deal? If the Council passes a ruling on an interstellar matter, we have to follow it. We don't have the fleets or political allies to defy them. Once we get a seat on the Council, we'll be able to influence those rulings, protect our own interests, no more jumping through hoops whenever we want something. Take this mess we're in now. 
If humanity had a seat on the council, we'd just send the Citadel fleet out to take care of Saren and his geth. Problem solved. Maybe they'd let us join the council if we were more willing to cooperate with the other species. Of course they would. If we did everything they told us to, they'd love to have us on the council. But it wouldn't be much of a deal for us. I understand their side. They don't want us dominating the council. It's founded on cooperation and alliances. But we have to look out for our own interests, too. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. The guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes, but it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. I thought this embassy was supposed to help humans. Harkin may be human, but he's also an ass. He's had more than his share of chances. If the embassy wasn't protecting him, he would have been fired 15 years ago. CSEC is better off without him. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done, like you. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation, but with him gone, things are still up in the air. What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. Each Spectre answers directly to the Council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. Other times, they act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The Council just turns a blind eye. Spectres have a lot of power, Shepard. They sound like shadow operatives. Everything about them is classified. We don't even know how many there are. The latest Alliance estimate puts their numbers under a hundred. But the Council couldn't do its job without them. They're the Citadel's top agents, the last line of defense, the final option before open war. The entire galaxy respects and fears them. If a Spectre shows up, you know something big is about to happen. What happens when a Spectre goes rogue, like Saren? It doesn't happen often. The Council is careful when they select their candidates. But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Send another Spectre to bring the rogue agent down. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game, and the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics, doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone, not directly. He's just a resource we can use, or she is, or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Tell me about Barla Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius, doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. Hope everyone enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell icon. See you all on the next video. Enjoy life, and stay gaming.